pregnant here, man. Um, here's a preview video for the Packers rematch against the Arizona Cardinals in the NFC Divisional Round. I don't usually make uh, preview videos. I don't, but I do it for the playoffs just because, obviously, you win, you're out. <laughs> Excuse me, you win, you move on, you lose, you're done. So, I think when the playoff season, cause playoff time comes around, it's probably more appropriate to do that. At least for me, at least for me anyway. For, for the entire season, no. Even then, you still can't really predict outcomes of football games. It's just, you don't know what could happen, man. Like they always say, any given Sunday. In this case, any given Saturday. Anyway, I was thinking a lot, a lot about this game and just... The last time we played the Cardinals, obviously, we got our ass kicked. You know, the Cardinals just beat us down. We got embarrassed shamefully on national TV. It was the worst the Packers looked. Even worse than when we played the Broncos, man. It was it was just that bad. Every Packers fan, every Packers fan knows it. I know it. Everybody knows it. All right. We do not want to see that happen again. Okay. I'm sorry. We do. We, we just we do not want to see that happen again. I don't care if the Packers want to lose this game. The one thing I want more than anything is just for them to go out there and really act like they want to be there. Play like you want to be there, man. Don't go out there laying down for the Cardinals again. Okay? You go out there and you give it everything you got. And let's say we lose maybe at the last minute or something or whatever the case may be. I'll be fine with it. I'll take it. Because there's, there's nothing more worse than losing than watching your team lose and just literally just getting punched in the mouth. There's nothing more worse than losing like that. It's, it's much more... Better to easier and to take a loss when you see your team giving complete effort to the very end and to that clock hits zero. But when your team is just going out there, not executing, doing everything wrong, and just getting punched in the mouth on both sides of the ball, those are the type of losses that you can't stomach and you can't stand. And we don't want to see that happen again. I don't care if we win or lose. I don't. I just want to see more effort out of this team. We're, we're still not all that healthy. I get it. The offensive line is still probably not going to be at 100%. And that's the one thing, and that's probably the main thing we need right now. Because the Cardinals, once again, they're the number one blitzing team in the league. All right? And we failed so badly to protect Aaron last time. We have to find ways to protect them this time. If we want any chance in this game. Because if you don't protect Aaron, if, you, and he, if he's running around and he's getting constantly hit under pressure every time he drops back to pass, no way we're going to win this game. It all starts up front. Establish the run. Get the run game going. Don't give up on it just because it doesn't go for a big, big game on maybe first down. Stick to it. The... the Mike, Mike, Mike will call one run play, and then he won't worry. He won't try to call another run play for the rest of the draft. He gives up on it too quickly. Try to get it established. Let the Cardinals let, let the Cardinals know you're gonna blitz us. We're gonna run the ball. You're gonna blitz us. Call some plays that's gonna help Aaron get the ball out of his hands quicker. You saw what the Redskins, the play calling, the play calling that actually went around, the play calling that actually improved the last week. You saw it. A lot of play calls were being called. We were just getting the ball out of his hands quick. Boom. Drop back the pass. Boom. Get it out. Some quick, call some quick slants, whatever you got to do to help these receivers get open and get that ball out of Aaron's hand. Stop calling the plays where you're asking these guys to once again run all the way downfield and try to get open. They don't have the, they don't have the talent to do that. So the best thing you could do is call some plays that are quick dumps to the to quick dumps, boom, 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 get out of his hands, and let these receivers try to get yards after the catch. You know how we used to do it. We had when we had Greg here, when we had Donald here, to Michael Finley, all those guys when they were together. Those are one that we should, we we kill teams with that. We would just call a quick play. Throw it to Greg, throw it to Donald, whoever, and they would pick up like 10 yards after the catch or more. What happened to those play calls? So that's, 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 that's as far as our offense goes. And as far as defense, we still don't know if Sam Shields is going to play. So we're still going to be very naked out there defensive back. 
we don't even know Quinn Rollins is going to play. So you got very talented receivers with the Cardinals and Floyd and, and Fitzgerald, and, and we don't have the corners that's going to match up good against them at all. We 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 don't guys. We that's just that's just be that's be real here. We don't. So we just gotta hope maybe Don Cables could come up with something that'll slow down that pass attack because the last time, literally every time Carson Palmer, Carson Palmer threw the ball, it was literally picking. They were picking up at least about 15, 20 yards every time. It was pathetic, but but just absolutely pathetic. So that's that's what I want. Win or lose, the main thing I want is to see more effort. That's all I want. Don't lay down for the Cardinals, okay? Um, I'm, I'm, do I feel like we can win this game? Not really. Uh, would I be able to just take the loss if we gave more effort? Yes. That's my honest answer. Yes. But if you want to win, just start up front. Protect Aaron. Get the offense rolling. And defense, they're going to do what they're going to do. You know, they're gonna they just we all know it, they're up and down. One minute they're looking good and another minute they're not. And it's just we I just really want the Packers to step up against these more bigger and better teams. That's what that's what I want. I'm I'm tired of us getting our ass kicked every time we come across a team that's well more, that's well put together and has a you know, just a better team than us. And I'm tired of effort I'm tired of Packers constantly just getting their ass kicked. We saw it with the Broncos, we saw it with the Panthers, we saw it with the Cardinals, obviously, a couple of weeks ago. And here we are, we're getting another opportunity on national TV to face a team that's well-built and organized. And if we, can't hang, if we can't prove that we can hang with these type of teams, then we don't deserve to be in the playoffs, man. We don't. We got to start proving we can hang with these type of teams, especially teams from the NFC West, who always give us trouble. So, that's it. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed this preview video. Go pack and win or lose. Peace.